I'm doing it out of character. <laughs> I mean, he's clearly not slurping. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, for the players, uh, Varix is led by Ursulae Kaifax. And she's also the head of the Council of Artisans that is found within the city. So totally vested interest in her shit disappearing. <laughs> yes. Uh huh. They are the they are based the the noble family of Kaifax is uh, responsible and, and and basically their their duty in the kingdom is is over the artisan aspects found within the kingdom. Crafty. She's the one that has the drapery of mine that she swears is from a Dwarven envoy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sorry. Douche. I know. <laughs> I comment on it every time I go in. It actually hangs now in the council room for the Council of Artisans. Thank you for that. You're proud of yourself. Oh, yes. Yeah. They thought I would never amount to anything. <laughs> Jokes on them. So then, if you do not need any more information, have no further questions. It's good oh, to no. see you again, Your Excellency. You too, Prince. I feel that our objectives are quite clear. Then go forth, ready for the journey. I expect you to leave with the first light of the morn. It'll be good to go home. I send. After everybody else stands, she stands. She goes, Thank you very much for coming. Thank, Thank you, Excellency. And the butler shows you back out. And another servant has brought your horse back. Woo! Oh, you have a thing. And yours. Okay. No, they just let her roam out. <laughs> no, yours they took outside the city, pushed it off a cliff, into the fucking bay. No, it's that fucking spirit. And then somehow they brought it back. They possessed your horse. They, they dragged its corpse back. It's still so <laughs> away. No, there's a saddle on the rock now. <laughs> <laughs> the Knight of Rocks. Oh, man. So that works. Done. Or do you mean the Night of the Rolling Stones? Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, I'll throw something at you. Oh! You did. Oh! Oh! How do you, how do you like, sleep at night? <laughs> like Very this. Carefully. Get out. Uh, yeah. So I speak to the group. I will meet you at Southern Gates at 6 in the morning. Be sure to bring good clothes. Don't forget your finery. I'll be good shoes. I'll, I'll be researching spirits using our library until then. Okay. But Master Albert, you have to pack. Where are we going again? I can pack. I'll make sure to do that. <laughs> so it's about a four day travel from Fangs Keep to Lunds Lands. And it is about a two day travel from there to Barracks. <laughs> All right, so it's a six-day, it's, it's almost a week's travel, which also now make, probably makes more sense to the players why it's about a week and a half after it was discovered it was a spirit that you're now getting sent there. Yeah. Because, you know, we don't have the fucking telephone. Don't have telephones. Don't have what telephones. telephones. I'm glad I decided not to live in the forest because I was going to. You should live in the middle of fucking nowhere. Like right in the heart of the forest. Maybe in summer and for... I mean, you can always own more than one property. Yeah. You, you can do that. So, <clears throat> uh, who's doing what for the evening? Are you just packing? Raise your hand if you're just packing and getting ready. And you're uh, doing nothing special. I'm going to, I don't know. I.e., you don't intend to ask for a role in the process of getting ready. Oh. Okay. B, what are you doing for the evening? The side from packing. <laughs> Aside from packing, what are you doing that you would like to have a role for to either gain more information or preparatory work towards? Definitely demonology. Demonology. 
Okay, so we're going to use demonology to see what you can figure out about what type of spirits or demons would be doing this. Get off the shit. Uh, oh shit, I should have done that too. You can still do that. Oh wait, no, you're packing. It's too late. I have great. I do. I do have four to do that for me. Okay. <laughs> so who would like to roll demonology? Me. Yep. Okay. What's demonology? <laughs> Don't worry about what it. About you're me? pretty. So things you can do with demonology is identify uh, identifying spirit activity as opposed to magic uh, or a prank, which was obviously already done. So we already know that. Identifying type of spirit, uh, named, unnamed, lesser, greater, dead, deity, etc. Identifying type of summoning, circle, blood calling, binding, unwanted, etc. Like how it got there. Uh, identifying a spirit's price. Identifying a spirit's powers or abilities. What are you aiming for? Jeff. I'm going to say I'm not going for powers and abilities because we haven't seen it yet. So how it was summoned. Okay, so your obstacle is three. Okay. Which means that's a routine task for you. Yeah. Great. Price. Price? Yeah. Okay. B. The thing before price, sorry. Uh, how it was summoned? Yes. That is, uh, Jeff is yeah, arguing that. So do you want to do, you wanna do help it. him do it as well? Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> so your obstacle is three, your obstacle grade is uh, four. Okay. okay, go ahead and make your rolls. How many dice did you roll, uh, Jeff? Eight. How many successes did you get? Two. So I failed. Oh my god. Yeah. You are too overworked for this shit. <laughs> How the fuck? You rolled eight dice and got two successes? Yeah, wow. fucking wow. traitors. Wow. Fucking tra oh, take those traitors. dice out. Greg, how many dice did you roll? Six. So let's see here. Albrecht failed to identify type of summoning. Uh, Gray Fail. you failed. By one, yeah. I got three successes. Failed to identify uh, price of spirit. And B, you got how many? Uh, three okay. successes, four failures. Well, your obstacle was three. Yay. Yeah. So you actually succeed. Yay! You're the only one who did <laughs> successful thing. research on this spirit. Uh, this spirit is, uh, from what you can tell, from all the evidence provided, the spirit was not directly summoned by a practitioner. So it, it falls underneath unwanted summoning, so to say, oh. slash natural, natural occurrence. Something happened... <clears throat> Something happened that allowed this spirit to enter into this world in this area. It was not intentional from, from all the evidence you can tell. Um, so you don't know, ex you still don't know exactly how it got there, but you know it's within that field. And I will not change that. Like, it is definitively within that field. Squares! <laughs> Squares. Did, did Bodak have anything to say today? Uh, Bodak actually was helpful in, in it. Cool. Uh, I also marked it as a routine for the order reading. Is that correct? Uh, yes. Oh. Uh, B also marked a routine test for your order reading. Mm -hmm. Yes. I was still doing stuff. Yes. We need places to stay along the route. Yes. There's four days. The first three nights, you will be in the prairie, traveling, there is a road. Um, okay. There are typically inns at about roughly a day's travel apart along these roads. There's a prince. Mm -hmm. You can do <laughs> camping, you can stay at these travel inns, I mean, they're fine. usually pretty small. Um, they know me well. The prince travels a lot. Uh, uh, the Philistine! The I'm sorry. I mean, rooms. <laughs> um, it beats sleeping on the roof again. Yes. The, so anyways, Which is weird, because you fell asleep in your bed. I know. Woke up on the roof. Like, oh, buddy, I'm I wanted really... to see the stars. <laughs> <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> 
not okay. <laughs> it's, no, it's no, not okay. It is a benevolent spirit as far as my past. I just want, and yet, and yet, maybe off yet. dark shadows. Um, Occurring. I spend my evening after I've writing letters to the various nobles that have houses along the way. My hair or greater and just basically telling them, oh, but that I know, at least, and being like, oh, it's been so long, how are you, how are the kids, how's everything? I happen to be traveling with the Prince of the Blood. Uh, sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm good again. I did it. <laughs> I happen to be traveling with the Prince of the Smell Swords. We're going to be passing through. Oh, it'd be so good to catch up. <laughs> there are two noble estates along the route. Between here and lands, or between... Between here and uh, barracks. That does not include the nobles that are actually in lands. Oh, okay, okay. I'm, I mean, outside of lands, outside of, like, just, like, in the prairie. Like, mm -hmm. they own a plot of land in the prairie with a prairie estate. Yep. But I have to get those letters out a day. Yeah. So that you, can can... you can send a fast runner. Yeah. Um, and I start with the furthest one, and I move backwards. Okay. Uh, are you going to... What's persuasion? We persuasion have, or etiquette? Uh, depends on how, which route you want to take. Do you want them to be doing this because this is the proper etiquette, or do you want them to be doing this because you've they, you've persuaded them to do it because of your own merit? They want to do this because it's you. Uh, you know what it is, Dennis. Come on. Ah, uh, one of them appeals to me so greatly. I mean, if you use etiquette, you're 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 mentioning you're traveling with the prince because the proper etiquette would be to inform them that the prince is coming and they need to provide be ready their, their loyal duties. Noble, uh, as a as a prince, nobles are expected to house you whenever you deem to travel. You and your party. Oh, you and your yeah. party <laughs> are expected to be hosted by any noble that, that like it's. Okay. I mean, which isn't too different from, like, if you're a spell lord on a job, yeah. that same thing is expected. If you're a spell lord just traveling for the fun of it, not so much. Right. But it's on a But job. a prince, it doesn't matter if you're on a job or just traveling for the fun oh. of it. Oh. It's expected. Oh, okay. Oh, I understand. Okay. Yeah. So, so I, mean, I was thinking prince, prince for both. Um, not, or, yeah. 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 You got, you got that. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so are you using etiquette or persuasion? Persuasion. Persuasion. Uh, do you have any forks? What is my obstacle? For persuasion, uh, hold on, let me see. Um, it's not routine, but it's not super difficult. I'm going to place it at about a four. A four? So, uh, I will then fork etiquette and noble laws. That will work. That puts me at four for four. Okay. Four dice against the obstacle. Okay. Sometimes it pays to no. know. Considering, yeah, in my head, so a little bit of the player strategy at this point, I consider this role to be fairly low impact as far as... Whether um, you succeed or fail. Yes. Yeah. My success or failure is fairly low impact. Because mind you, if, if Dennis fails at this role, and the prince shows up at the doorstep, they're still going to give the prince and his party homage. True. Or what is that word? That's uh -huh. not the right word. It's not fealty. Feel, fealty. Uh, uh, room and board. Fuck it. <laughs> Simple term. Room and board. I forgot duty. the actual duty. Duty. Okay. Yep. They'll perform their duty. <laughs> and <laughs> and <laughs> that's... <laughs> However... If they disregard Dennis's letter, they're not already ready for it. Yep. So they might be scrambling and going, fuck, 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 shit. Mm -hmm. And then I giggle maniacally. Oh, at least you're happy. If I succeed, they do it, and they're surprised the prince is there, and then I giggle maniacally. <laughs> and to be fair, even though he's forking etiquette into it, he's forking etiquette into it to, to use proper etiquette in the way he communicates. He's not actually stating in the letter that the prince is there. Because if he was stating the prince was coming... He would be rolling etiquette because at that point he's he's writing to tell them about an etiquette they're expected to do. Mm. Two? Two. Okay. So they will receive your letters, but they'll think I'm full of shit. 
They've received letters like this before and had no one show up. <laughs> yes, they Because you get so easily distracted. <laughs> so because of your reputation yep. of infamy, you are infamously... Of course, I'm not traveling with the prince of the spell, so that's ridiculous. Who does he think he is? I hear bullshit all the way from here. <laughs> I, not only do I believe this letter is bullshit, it appears that he wrote it in shit. <laughs> Burn it! Seriously, Scout Fetish? <laughs> oh, I so, know the best. <laughs> like, Scott, <laughs> however, that still earns Dennis a difficult test towards the advancement of his persuasion. Yep. So you all arrive in barracks on the, uh, towards, uh, the late afternoon, early evening of the sixth day. The gates to the city are, uh, town? City? Uh, city. It is a city. Uh, the gates to the city are still open. Uh, there are guards, uh, stationed at the gate. As per normal, everything seems to be business as usual as you approach the city. Of course, the guards aren't going to stop, one, the prince, two knights, an official of the faith of the kingdom, and an official of the college. <laughs> and so, then this fuck. <laughs> so, your group is free to just basically walk through the gate, get saluted, and wow. continue on your goddamn day. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> they expect a show. So much high rank going on here. It's like we were sent by the queen. Amenius knows where uh, Ursula Ursula is um, hanging out. <laughs> yeah, where her estate is. Mm, yes. I'm seeing where she sleeps. My course. snow box is with us. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Amenius knows the layout of barracks. He knows yeah. where the town, the taverns, the different types of markets. Uh, where the Artisan Square is, which is actually just a bunch of artisan workshops. Um, it's actually the largest district in the city. And in the very uh, uh, middle of the city is uh, Ursula's estate. So you just go to Ursula's estate? Yeah, we just... Like, we're walking towards it. It's like, I think, judging by the time of day and the time of year, if she's not still working, which is a distinctive possibility, she should be having dinner. Assuming she remembered to eat. That's a one. You! Young one. Young, young... Child! Yes? Go run to the estate. Tell them Amenius is coming. Who's Amenius? Just tell them! <laughs> Here's a point. <laughs> Uh, Ursula's. Okay. Completely turns. <laughs> Still cool. <laughs> what do you mean, which estate? Oh, you're like five, of course. <laughs> to uh, all estates to me. <laughs> Mommy and Daddy's estate. <laughs> there is no. There is more than one noble estate. Or villa. Daddy with a hovel. <laughs> so you arrive to the front gate of the Ursula, uh, Ursula's estate. Uh, the noble Kaifax family. Yes. Um, this estate is ostentatious. Yes. It looks like it was crafted with only the finest materials by the finest artisans to be found throughout the entire land. It is immaculate, intricate, delicate yet sturdy. Lattice work. And decorations, all of the place. My favorite room is the one that says she doesn't know how to do anything herself. <laughs> as you approach, there's a look on. As you come to the gate, the gate is closed, and there are two guards stationed out front of it. One of them with a sword, standing like this in his armor, and a younger-looking one with a spear. 
The one with his arms crossed looks like a grizzled, seasoned sergeant. Have you already decided sergeant's name? No. Excellent. <laughs> Good. I like to check. Jonas! You're looking uh, younger every year. Amenius. You oh, look man. looser every year. Oh, well, I am. How's the family? They're fine. Really? You're not stopping on some of those? Yes. Where is he these days? I haven't seen him in forever. Not in your bedroom. <laughs> That's strange. I feel like everyone makes their way there. Yes. It's quite the place to go, isn't it? <laughs> well, all the best parties. The Lady of Bridges is busy. Have she you met the her... Prince of the Cellswords? Cellswords? <laughs> <laughs> Sir! Oh, uh. She's busy! Have you met my friend? <laughs> Door clear? Sir, are, are you are you here to see the Lady of Bridges? I am. Ah, yes, sir. Right, right this way. Open the gate! <laughs> Open it faster! Right this way, sir! Get the princess horse! Because <laughs> you all heard it! He told the kid! Tell them Amenius is coming! That's it! That's it! Oh, it's Amenius. <laughs> oh! Amenius is not high enough of station or stature to interrupt Lady Ursula's dinner with her family. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not shamelessly utilizing your title. I don't know what you're talking about, sir. Like, the gate opens and your grabs one of the younger yes. guards. <laughs> Uh, yeah, from inside, just like, RUN AND TELL THE BUTLER! <laughs> <laughs> right this way, sir! <laughs> now, Jonas, you're going to work yourself up into a heart attack if you keep your blood pressure that high. It'll only be the third one this year! Oh. That's two more than I've heard of. <laughs> How many Your spies are, are getting better. Thank you! You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's the source of the Okay. That's so, higher. Okay. Uh, a butler meets you at the front door where uh, Sergeant Jonas uh, guides you um, and bids you adieu. Uh, the butler uh, takes you in uh, to a formal dining room where Lady Ursula, her husband, and her eight children also, I've suddenly gathered more layers of clothing somehow. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm still trying to get over the fact that I'm pretty sure one of those layers car. is just a drape that he tore <laughs> off the wall as they walked past <laughs> and reappropriated it. And new person, or lady. Yep. Uh, right, on, yeah. on who? Lady Ursula? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what are you going after? Uh, are you wanting to know mood? <laughs> That's okay. Sexy. Let's see. Uh, Mood is fine for me. Yeah. What's else? Uh, where did order reading? I just had it and then I burped and lost the page. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mood? Uh huh. Reading mood is obstacle two. Okay. Uh, you can do uh, reading an aura trait, reading mood. Uh, seeing a character trait, seeing a die or call on trait, sensing a person's intent, uh, it's like to deceive, for example. Uh, seeing an instinct, seeing a belief, seeing a character's past, seeing a character's future, reading an object to see if it's magical or mundane, reading, uh, reading a school of magic, deciphering a facet of a spell or enchantment, naming a spell as... It is being cast. Uh, those I've left the realm of relevance to people. Sorry. Oh, uh, seeing a character's future. That's it. That that's where it ends for people. You can see a future of somebody. That's obstacle nine. Oh yeah. my god. Reading somebody's future through their aura. Obstacle nine. There's no way. Nigh impossible. Not impossible. Nigh. <laughs> Not Bill, but not. <laughs> but the other okay, so. Yeah. <laughs> and Bill. Um, fuck. So. He's already got mood. He's going for mood. But mind you, you don't get mood. I don't get mood. And, 
honestly, that's the only thing I'm going to go with right now. So mood? Yeah. It's obstacle two. Okay. So what is your aura reading at? Fur. Wait. What? Fur? Four. Fur. Four. It's fur. Right. So it's a routine test for you. Make sure. Jeff, what is your aura reading? Uh, it is. Oh wait, it's a five. Excuse me. It's yeah. that's still routine. Because mine's also awesome. aura. Uh, routine. Yeah, it's what we do. So this counts as a routine test for both of you and for four and f for f who has it at five? Me. Uh, you actually don't need routine tests to advance it. Okay. You need three difficult tests and one challenging test. Thank you for something. However, aura reading is a. Sorceress skill, which means sixes do, uh, you get to roll sixes a second time. Oh, Ooh. that would be useful. Okay. Sorry. All sorceress, sorceress skills are that way. And they're open ended. Okay. Yep. Now that I know that, I'm ruling now. Yeah. All sorceress. And your spell sword skill is sorceress. Right. I don't remember if I actually wrote that down. You did. You said it okay. replaces sorceress. Yeah. Replaces sorcery. Sorcery. Yeah. So five, so six, seven. Two, four, five, four. Si uh, four, five, six. If you get a seven on the dice, I don't, even know. I don't know what the fuck you I, did. I don't know what I did either. So Holy shit. I actually succeeded. Some love crafting shit. Two? Okay. Right. Don't right. worry about did it. Did you get any sixes? Uh, one. Okay, go ahead and roll another dice. Four. Okay, so how many four, fives, and sixes did you get? Four? And oh, perfect. Um, she seems nervous. Oh. She is very anxious and nervous. Uh, you can see the. Uh, you can see a. Uh, there are a few servants uh, milling about, like refreshing drinks, um, making sure like the food is presented and everything. Uh, it appears as though they are just starting their meal. Um, and the butler uh, steps into the double doors uh, with you. All and says, introducing Prince of the Spell Swords, Gary Bumblebutt. Craig Craig Ray. Craig Dix. I whispered about that, Craig Toronto. No, sorry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Gray. Gray Toront, Sir Ezio von Kampf, the Exorcist Pyre, Master Sorcerer Albert Hitherin, and Amenius of Varix. <laughs> the Lady Ursula. And he bows, steps out, and closes the doors behind him. Thank you, Donna. And Lady Ursula stands and goes, Please, sit, join us. It's a very long, ostentatious table. Ostentatious is a word you hear a lot when I'm describing what's going on inside of a noble's estate. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. There is room at the table for her, her husband, her eight kids, and the party. Servants hustle to uh, place additional settings for you. Um, there is obviously more than enough food. Ursula, dear, it's so good to see you so productive these days. Oh, yes, yes. Must stay busy. And your children, always beautiful as usual. Yes, yes. Uh, they've all picked a craft and are studiously studying. <laughs> Thank you so much for letting us crash your lovely family dinner, my friends. Well, but anything for a prince of the kingdom and his cohorts. My trip to Fang's Keep was quite productive. I'm surprised to see you back so soon. Um, duty calls. So what brings the illustrious Prince of the Spell Swords to Little Old Barracks? We were called to investigate an issue that's arising in the city. <clears throat> in the fair city of Barracks. Ah, yes, the once thought band of thieves that turned out to be a spirit of some type. I take it that is why you travel with the exorcist pyre and the master sorcerer Albrecht. Yes. Albrecht, I hear whispers on the wind that you may be being elevated to a counselor position soon. Many have said as such. I am glad that they have such faith in me. I seek to 
improves the college. Well spoken. Amenius could learn a thing or two from you. Oh, but I then again, quite a bit from him. wizards usually are good with their tongues. <laughs> Smarm! <laughs> Sorry, this is what happens when Dennis, like, Dennis can be running or I'm running, but there's an exchange between the players and nobles. Smarm fucking happens. Smarm is smart. Madam Ursula, it's not fair to bake me when you're children. Madam Ursula. I do have boundaries. Sometimes. Well, that's okay. My youngest daughter recently saw her first blood moon. Good for you. What was your art form again? I'm a dancer. <laughs> the now the master sorcerer is uncomfortable. <laughs> it's, the night because he's so pale cool. for being indoor all the time. You see him blush. <laughs> oh, that's one thing I learned about the state rivers. We're much more liberal. Aren't most nobles? We're more accepting about what is already a natural ex happening. Things to be celebrated. Life. Development. Growth. It's all part of the grand scheme of the world's artistry. Indeed. For the world is the canvas and we are the paint. Choose what pigment you wish to be. I have to give you that one. It was particularly inspired. <laughs> now then, and now I kill you. I see there is aggression nearby. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk away. Whatever you're happens, very torn. Happens. There's so much aggression going back and forth between these two that your hand keeps going to your sword, but you're not dumb, so you're not drawing it. But you're like, like the aggression level keeps going like this, <laughs> so you just keep going like. <laughs> so I'm just like holding onto the knife as I'm like eating. <laughs> I have a weapon. <laughs> I mean, new blade. <laughs> seriously perfect. Yeah, that, okay, that, oh that, that, that actually totally happens. Followers <laughs> <laughs> very quickly on. <laughs> Bring you a new plate. <laughs> There's laughter in my right ear and it won't stop! <laughs> Bulldog is amused. <laughs> Why do you is. Is he Moldovian? <laughs> yeah, he's changing accents is the thing. That's how I never fucking know where he's from. Because it's real funny. Oh, man. I'm a cringe maiden. You were a man last night. Stop. No. No, no, no. So, will you be staying in our estate? Please tell me you'll be gracing us with your, your presence for your stay in barracks. Of course. Oh. <clears throat> Honey, do you hear that? We will be the gracious hosts of the prince. He's like, yes, dear. <laughs> Can you swoon any harder? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Although I remember your swoon when Renata herself came to visit, and that was just for a night. But, oh, oh, I have the vapors. <laughs> just remembering that luscious night. You could hear it halfway through the city. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh. That should be a it should be a festival every year to You tried, the Council of Artisans wouldn't go for it. I think I heard that. I voice. think they were jealous. Serves them right. You'd be jealous of the lady of the bridges. <laughs> By the way, her art the reason why she's named Lady of the Bridges is her form of artisanry is she's actually an architect. Oh. And and because there's a whole bunch of like little tiny like rivers and creeks and stuff throughout this whole area where the city is built, oh there's bridges fun. everywhere. Mm -hmm. And she's actually one of the ones that actually designed and did the architecture for most of these bridges. <laughs> that allowed the city to expand no. expand recently. So I have the staff preparing rooms for you. I'll we happen to have a guest wing to the west of the estate. Uh, so it will be at your disposal for you and your cohorts. 
Thank you. Of course, it has its own staff and kitchen, uh, so you will not have to wait upon us for your whims uh, and may carry on your business as you see fit without having to be interrupted by our mundane daily family affairs. <laughs> Darling, a family is nothing but mundane. Well, we certainly aren't of the college now, are we? No. No. <laughs> I chose an education written on the skins of my letters. Yes. You can see him like moving well, flesh. Well, 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 well. <laughs> 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 it was almost a. You can read. <laughs> <laughs> do it! Do it! Do it! I will give you. Yes! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Yes. <laughs> You hear a very loud snap of a fan <laughs> as it flutters in front of her face, and you hear a very soft. <laughs> yes, and you'll be astounded to know, Master Sorcerer, I can even write. That's amazing! <laughs> Sergeant Jonas will be available to escort you throughout the city unless Amenius remembers the streets well enough. Oh, I remember all of the streets. It's the people that live on them. I would have thought you would, would only remember the sheets. Yeah, probably still don't. Admittedly, some of them were atrocious enough that I would rather forget. I mean, some people are poor enough to have less than a thousand threads per sheet. <laughs> and some people just like the taste of it. By the stacks of pillow books you write, I attest you can write. <laughs> <laughs> Lightning. <laughs> <laughs> and another plate is gone. <laughs> oh, oh, there it goes. You look over and it's actually Albrecht and he's sparking. Is that, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, smart and dinner so continues. Oh, this is fucking entertaining. <laughs> a servant shows you to the wing and provides you with the uh, keys so that so the wing, uh, well, actually no, because there's certain staff that yep. live there, so you don't have to unlock it and unlock it. It's, um, shows you to, uh, shows you the master bedroom of the wing and the other quarters of the wings, which there's such a little difference between the master bedroom and the regular bedrooms that it's just like, fucks the difference. Mine has an extra book. This, like, <laughs> did you the master bedroom's like a few feet, a few square feet bigger. Yeah. <laughs> so, so like today's bedroom. bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's mass. He has an actual patio <laughs> lined out where we just have an open glass door. <laughs> there we go. Um, but it has a, it, there's a, there's a fully stocked library. There's a sitting room. There's a formal dining room. Um, there's an informal dining room. Uh, so it goes formal dining room, kitchen, informal dining room. Okay. Um, there is the, a very small section, which is the servant's quarters, because it's a very small staff for the wing. Um, there's the library I mentioned. Uh, and there's... There's a greenhouse. That's what it. A uh, conservatory. Yes, a conservatory. Cool. Um, as well. Classroom. Plants inside. Sitting yeah. area. Yeah. yeah. Conservatory. <clears throat> or mostly classroom. Yeah. Uh, so you're all able to get set up. Uh, you have lodging in barracks. Uh, and the next morning comes for you all to get ready and begin uh, your journeys through barracks. I set up wards around our beds. Okay. As Sorry. per your instinct. Yeah, as per my instinct. I'll understand if you don't come visit me in the night. Uh, roll for reading and based off of what, what you get, um, you're basically just going after an obstacle two uh, to see if there's like a spirit of the house um, or, or things like that here, or if there's any kind of like magical enchantments. Um, See, would it work for like stuck memories that are strong? Or just 
Yeah. Okay. Those, those those read as enchantments at first. Whoa. That's cool. Yeah. You don't see anything out of the more. Okay. There are no spirits of this house. Oh. It's been kept clean. Uh, you can you can tell that there's these stereotypical college enchant uh, enchantments or wards that have been put on place on the estate. So I will give her a plus one dice to inconspicuous. So you have a one die inconspicuous, or plus one dice to any time she rolls it inconspicuous. Okay. So if you ever need to roll inconspicuous mm-hmm. over the course of the next day, you get a plus one dice to it. Even though I, don't I gotta roll first. Even though I don't yeah. have it? If he succeeds. If I succeed. Yes. If he succeeds. And kind of an obstacle three against my three faith. So. Oh no! Challenging roll. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Except faith rolls only count if they succeed. Yes. Yeah. Oh, faith oh, is, oh, the, that's only, right. yeah, yeah. Faith is yeah. the only one that does that. Though. I remember that now. Thanks yeah. for that reminder. Nope. You try. Yeah, you get nothing. Yep, you get nothing. Okay. <laughs> Legit lie, and I'm just curious. We must all protect ourselves from the one truth. The question Sorry. is, what is truth? What is I truth? I, I take it this conversation is happening over breakfast the yes. next morning. Yeah. Okay. Informal. Informal. Informal yeah. dining room. I, I would certainly be happy. <laughs> the prince is sitting by himself in the formal dining room. <laughs> Where is everybody? <laughs> <laughs> Why do I hate talking? <laughs> I would be happy to have that philosophical discussion with you, sir. And see you. Perhaps in the afternoon, in a shaded bower of barracks, there's a lovely little Don't private do it. park. It's a lot. It's a trap. Over <laughs> east. Possibly. Beautiful Depends on how trees. quickly we can get this whole business over the world. This whole business will be several days in the making. We have time. I was gonna ready utility in the morning before everybody gets up. Do what? Ready a utility. Which you took? Okay, which one? Um, dexterity of the cat. Okay. Yeah. Uh, make me a spell sword test. Yeah. What is the obstacle of uh, the four? Mm-hmm. Okay. Push. And I have a spell sword six, which will make it routine. Fuck. Yeah. What? He has a spell sword six. It's a routine six. test. And the joke. Since obstacle four, I have six. In oh, routine so test. it's routine test, so you don't actually need a routine test to advance. Yep. Yep. Advancing sorcery, uh, sorcery and spell sword and stuff like that is actually pretty difficult once you get to higher, yeah. unless you're casting obscene spells. Do it! No, I'm kidding. Please don't. Uh, Please don't. It, it mostly will help my abstractions by messing up. Yes. Yeah. Ugh. I'm going to dig through all the layers and find it. Oh shit, I got two sixes. Fuck yeah! And I'll re roll. My prince horrible is? ones, because there were two of them. Huh? Does anyone know where the prince is? Uh, the prince is doing his morning, one hour morning course meditation <laughs> before everybody gets up. Oh. Four? Yeah. So you succeed. I, I mean it, yeah. I don't think that. Um, he should be in trouble. Go ahead and roll me a steel test, obstacle four. Four attacks. Instead of uh, instead of rolling four for their attacks, they roll steel. Did you not succeed? I succeeded. No, he oh, succeeded. Okay. But anytime you cast a spell, succeed or fail, you have to roll attacks. No, I I remember that after you said I succeeded, but I didn't hear the actual results of the dice because I was busy in my head. Yeah. Um. This also has a test. Uh. The the routine. It, it will count as a, a test for steel. Oh okay. So what is your steal? Uh, bad. Fuck. Uh, <clears throat> I failed. No. Yeah, it's a G5. I failed. Three, four, five, six? Yeah, I got a two, or th- two twos, a one, and a five, six. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, you could spend your deed, could you? Thank you. Yeah. You could spend your deed to re-roll all the failures. I don't want to, but you don't want to. <laughs> okay, so you do not have... So you, 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 you successfully summon forth the key, the energy, and, and complete the form. And as you do, you do not steal yourself properly to hold it. 
Okay. And you feel it slip out. Okay. <laughs> say it, Dennis. Say it. Say it. No. Say it. No. Do it. No, it's fine. Should have used a butt plug. <laughs> used a butt plug. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. I'm just saying. Oh, uh, <laughs> what? Anybody else here? So that know? was. What was your steal? G five. And it was a test of four. Right. That was a difficult right. test for steel. Ooh, hey. And to raise your uh, steel from four to five, you need three difficult and one challenging. Cool. Three difficult and one challenging? Yes. Okay. That's why you need to 